Jesus Culture Part 2. We started this read series some weeks back where we begin to talk about that every kingdom has a culture. And we said culture, which you did in your social studies, means what? The way of life, the way of behavior. And I made a very practical statement that day, which I want you to hold the rest of your life, that you can choose your God, but you don't choose the way you serve him. That you can decide right now that I want to go and serve Shango or go. But when you get to him, he tells you the way you serve him. That's where we miss it in the Christian faith. We give our life to Christ and decide how we live the life before him. Why can I trust him to take my decision, to make my decisions for me, for me? Because I was sure of what I did. The born again experience in the Christian faith right now is extremely questionable. How will God tell you, son, take this decision? You are scared. If truly you gave him your life. How will you be scared of the decision of a man who you affirm that you have given what? Your complete life to. It shows you didn't know what you did. Are we together? So we must begin to return to the culture of the kingdom. That's the only way things can work for us. That's the only way. We can't try to be in the kingdom and behave like the world. It doesn't work that way. Now, Hebrews chapter 1. I call you holy. Your name is holy. You are so holy to me. I don't know why I'm sensing strange angelic presence in the meeting tonight. Strange angelic presence around. Be very sensitive. Something will come for you today. Something will come for you today. God most of the times visits men in the most expected time. Be sensitive. He might come today just because be sensitive to why you can. Hebrews chapter 1 verse 14. The Bible speaking there. He said, are they not ministering spirits sent to her the heirs of salvation? So one of the advantage of Christianity is that you have to yourself assigned angels. That's why living like a beggar or a peasant on the earth is an insult to the divine. They've been sent to minister to her the heirs of salvation. But the problem is why are believers still struggling? Why does it look like things are not working? Because there is a culture who have abused that the angels attend to. That's their strength in the kingdom. It's a culture. James chapter 3. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Let us hear his voice. Praise the Lord, praise the Lord, let the people rejoice. I see victory. Come to the Father, through Jesus the Son, and give Him the glory. Let's do it one more time. Praise the Lord, praise the Lord. James chapter 3 verse 1. My brethren, be be not many masters, knowing that we shall receive the greater condemnation. For in many things we offend all. If any man offend not in word, the same is a perfect man. And also able to control or bridle the whole body. 3. Behold, we put bits in the horse's mouth that they may obey us and we turn about their whole body. When you see an horse, the major need for that horse is speed. Right? You want to get to a destination what? Faster. Which is everybody's desire for their destiny. To make sure they arrive at destiny on time. 
The major need of the horse is what? Speed. However, that speed can only be accomplished by what? Strength. How strong the horse what? Is. So, if I am targeting speed, targeting strength, and targeting right direction for the horse, I am of the opinion by human thinking and calculation that I should be putting my concentration on the legs. But the Bible is telling us that no, what they do is to put beats on the mouth and from that point control the whole body. Both the speed, both the strength and both what? The direction. So what does that tell us? Nothing controls your speed, your strength and direction in life like your words. That's the strength of the angelic. Psalm 103 verse 20. He said, blessed be the Lord God. And blessed be the mighty angels who hearken to his words. Not your words, but the words he has spoken that you place on your own lips. So nothing controls your life like your words. That's why it seems like things are not working. We claim we believe the word, but we behave otherwise. If you believe the word, behave. If you believe the word, talk like it. It's a kingdom culture. That one of the first things a man adjusts in the kingdom is his words. He changes his language. He changes the way he speaks and talks. That's why when people come to the office and say, I am very sick, I say, no, tell me you are strong. If we are from the same kingdom, we understand one another. Stop feeling you need to express it in your human way for me to understand what you are saying. If we come from the same environment, we understand our language. How can you stand and say you are broke? See, you don't know that give your life to God, you are taking a hold by another kind of spirit. That's why when the disciples wanted to call down fire in the city that they were chasing them out, and Jesus, he said, you don't know the spirit you now have. So your words are no longer the words of mortal men. They are backed up by what? Spirits. John 6, 63. He said, the words I speak to you, they are what? Spirit and life. So they are not mere words other mere human can speak. In fact, even at this level, we don't speak and say we are joking because of the force of our words. Nothing moves the angelic like the words you speak. The Bible says they akin to the word of what is command. So when you speak the language of God, they together, not your words, but putting his own words in your mouth and speaking them forth, they move. Remember the scripture I said to us one of the services? That the God lives in where? The eternal realm. Why the angels live in the everlasting realm? Don't, they are not the same. They don't stay in the same place. That's why, how do we know? Angels grow in their strength, excel in their ma- magnificence by the degree they have access to his presence. That's why speaking about Lucifer, who became the light bearer, the anointed cherubim, the Bible says he walked to and fro. He had much access. So, the more they grow in access, the more they grow in that light that no man can approach. So, how they radiate light is the degree to which they have ranking as angels. That's why when Gabriel came, remember, to um, Zachariah, he shouted, I am Gabriel, the one that stands there before the presence, because not everyone stands there. So, they don't live all through in the eternal realm. They stay in the everlasting realm. The eternal realm, eternity means no beginning, no end. Everlasting means there is a beginning but lasting forever. No end. Now, what rules the eternal realm? So I'm teaching you Christian mathematics. The Bible says rightfully dividing the world of truth. So we break the Bible to a little hole. You can pick the little hole of it. Is that not division? Rightfully dividing. Break it to that point. So in the eternal realm, what rules there are thoughts. That's why all through scripture, every man condemned of pride never spoke a word. The devil taught him his heart. Herod was just listening, listening to the praises of men. And the Bible said an angel came to strike him. They never said anything. Nation was ever true. Changing me and changing. We have come, 
with open heart. Oh, let the ancient words be What controls the eternal realm are what? Thoughts. That's why Ephesians 3 20 says God is able to do above what you ask or think. That's why Philippians 4 says, Whatever is true, whatever is lovely, noble, of good report, think on these things. That's how powerful thought is. No wonder what struck the heavens in Genesis 11, I think from verse 8, was not even the statements of men, but their thoughts. The Bible says, Whatever they imagined in their heart. God was not waiting for them to speak a word. He was interested in their imaginations. That's why in Genesis 6, look at what he said. He said, and he regretted creating man. Because so their imaginations are wicked that's what controls that realm thoughts are powerful your thought is as equivalent as your speech are we following it's as powerful as opening your mouth to say anything your thoughts your thoughts now but what rules the everlasting realm are words God is ruled by your thoughts angels are controlled by what? Your words. How do I know? The Bible says in Daniel that the angel of the Lord appeared to Daniel and said to him, Daniel, from the first day you set your heart to pray, your prayer was heard. He never said any statement. He just thought to himself, I want to pray. He went to the what? The eternal realm. And then I am come for what? Your words. Are we together? I am come for what? Your words. Words are powerful. That's why in Acts chapter 2, the first thing God arranged in the new creation was their words. He said, and cloven tongues as a fire came and sat on them. He had to adjust the utterances of men. That's why, look at when the angel came to Zechariah and told such a mighty priest of the Most High God, went to his son, he doubted. At least I thought that out of mercy, the angel should have what? Forgive me. Look at what the angel did. He said, I will make you what? Not to speak till the child is born. Even if that angel with his katana ranking in the spirit brought such a prophecy, Zachariah can adjust it with his words. He had feel the word for the man. That's how powerful it is. Are we following First Peter chapter 3? I will open up my heart, ready for your holy fire. Verse 10. For he that will love what? Life. I want to see good days. Let him refrain his tongue from evil and his lips from what? Speaking. He that what? Longevity. I want to see good days. You must take keen attention to the kind of words. Jesus. What better advice can you be giving? Get the scriptures. Psalm 34. From verse 12. What man is he that desired life? Psalm 34 from verse 12 to 13. And loveth many days that he may see good. Keep thy tongue from evil and thy lips from speaking. Pay very close attention to the words you speak. See, listen, listen. One of the heights of maturity in the Christian faith is the control on how you speak. How do I know? First Corinthians. That's it. Look up. He said, When I was a child, I spoke like a child. Understood like a child. I, I thought like a child. And I understood like a child. Speak, think, understand. So what is maturity? You understand first, after thinking, then you speak. You under, you know the strength of words. So you take the time to think, to gain understanding if you're speaking. Control your words. 
Don't speak negativity to your life, to your circumstances, to your situation. Speak life. Numbers 14, 28. I think I'll stop here tonight. The Bible says, And the children of Israel, after spying the land, two of them brought a report, Joshua and Caleb, as the men of Israel. This is how we see. This is what we see. However, there are also giants here. And the men were bent in the heart. The Bible says, They say, No, we cannot overcome. And Joshua and Caleb tried to encourage them. They took stones to stone them. And God said, Numbers 14 to 18, look at that scripture. He said, As surely as I live, tell them, Whatever I hear you say to my hearing, that is the exact thing. The Bible is speaking in Genesis chapter 1. And God said, and God saw. And God said, and God saw. Whatever you are seeing is what you have been speaking. And God said, and God saw. And God said, and God saw. Whatever your life resembles is also a combination of your words. And God said, and God saw. Change your condition. Make sure it aligns to the world. That is what gives strength to what? The angelic. Because they hearken to the word of what is command. That's what gives them strength. Even when there's no money in your hand, you say, I'm rich. They move to act on that word. Move. Even when you are dying, you say, I'm strong. Now, hear me. There is a difference between confession and positive speaking. Whatever Graham Tracy and Brad Tracy will write, about you speaking positive words started from the Bible because the Bible is older than you. I'm okay, what is this? The difference is this I can speak empty words out of an encouragement, but I can speak words that are backed up by spirits. Every man you see, I was discussing with a pastor friend yesterday, and we said some statement, I made a conclusion. Every man you see on the surface of the earth is assisted by spirits. Like, absolutely nothing in this one above the divine does not assist him. So, what gives strength, what attracts, what assistance is the words you speak. The words you speak. Rise up to your feet. So, positive speaking and speaking words. But confession in the scriptures is speaking words backed up by what? By God. The Bible says, let the rich say, let the poor say what? I am rich. It wasn't Brian Tracy that taught you. It's the scriptures. He said, let the weak say, I am strong. You didn't learn it from any book. It is in the Bible. He said, say to the righteous, it is well. Sometimes, people share some kind of very heavy situations and circumstances to me. And I sent a simple statement. It is well. And the next reply is, sir, is that all? Go and do work now. I, I told you the story of a woman that came to my office and said, I'm looking for the fruit of the woman. Somebody directed that one. I said, case has closed. Which one do you want? Boy, girl, children, twins, triplets? She said, twins, I said, I give you. That's all. She said, sir, is that all? I said, I want to work. I can't you to jump on some other market three times. Don't be satellite and shout, Jesus, Jesus, Jesus. If they tell you who send you to do, don't call my name. The righteous, it is well. If you want to see long life, that's why we speak. I can't die. You can't kill me. I can't be broke. Even when I am saying it and drinking Gary is not your business, but I didn't borrow your mouth. The last thing that grows on a tree is the fruit. Don't worry. When you put a seed on the ground, you don't see harvest immediately, right? Don't laugh at me and say you are saying you cannot be broke and you are drinking Gary. I was saying it some days back. See it now. I... It works. It works. <laughs> I don't rate my words by what is in my account balance. Is that once I need a thing, it will come. The power of your words. You can arrange your life. Give me finally Hebrew 11 verse. The Bible says, and we know. So the first thing is the revelational knowledge. That the words we see we are framed. The word framed there, the Greek word katatizo. It means to bring something into being by things that we did not see. Now, hear me. Are you a child of God? Why are you behaving like you are not one? Romans 4, 17. 
He said he collects those things that be not. Who did you copy? No. Who did he see light before he said, Let there be light? Who are you copying? Who your neighbor who you resemble? A lion cannot give birth to a goat. The Bible speaking in Genesis 1. He said, and he commanded that everything should produce after its kind. After its kind. See, these are the kind of scriptures you know that arranges your life. The first day I saw it, it changes me. That's what pushed me to the prophetic. I read a scripture. He said, I will produce after its kind. And I read a scripture that says, and he knoweth the end from the beginning. He said, I, I can't be following the same date with the Goran calendar. I should be ahead. January first week. What did I tell my children? The year 2020 ends where March. Whatever you see happening, they have first-hand information. Actually, there are some things I can't announce on the movie because of status now. First-hand information. Nothing takes them by surprise because they sit under a man and nothing takes by surprise. Walk like the one you belong to. The Bible says we have the spirit of faith, so we speak. It's a speaking spirit. Anything you don't like, arrange them by your words. Now, yeah. One thing you can send it to your future without paying for it are words. You don't need to pay. You can send it and they have the ability to travel and remain there. Carrying out activities even before you arrive. That's how powerful words are. How come you... No, watch it. That when you speak negative things, I see the devil is waiting for you. It's just couple sharp, sharp. Why not you take advantage of speaking the right one? Should I tell you the reason why? It takes just a few days for a chicken egg to spawn. Or it takes a long time for it to produce a live chicken. That's why negative words tend to come faster than positive words. It takes a decade to build a tree. Or it takes just seconds and minutes for a caterpillar to pull it down. So don't feel because you didn't see it, shash up. No! That's not how it works. When you plant a seed, the light will grow. And we together lift up your hands tonight and pray. And say, Lord, walk upon me. See, now look up. From today, arrange your words. You wake up in the morning, speak to your day. Speak to your day. Lord, I attract the wealthy and the king in this city. I attract the kings in this land. They locate me. The Bible says, as soon as they hear of me, they submit themselves. I attract. Speak words into your life. in jesus name we pray now let's pray this way three prayer points and we are done tonight lord every negative word i have spoken carelessly all that have been spoken over me walking against my life walking against my destiny let your blood put an end to it right now can you raise your voice and pray Rosso <laughs> Let's 
In Jesus' name, we pray. Proverbs 11, verse 11. Before we get there, let me show you one thing. Open it, Proverbs 11. The Bible says, look at that scripture. Let's do a little exegesis. It said, by the blessings of the righteous, what they are saying, a city is what? Exalted. Let's look at it again. By the blessings of what? The righteous, a city is exalted. Then I travel in the spirit. I journey through to scriptures. And I get to Matthew chapter 5 and I stopped. And I look at verse 14 to 16. And it said, you are the city. So by what you are saying, you are either building your life or breaking it down. By the blessings of the righteous, a city is exalted. I want to say to you tonight, one of the most important things in life are your words. Most important, what are you saying? That's why the Bible says, now, the days we are, are days of the prophetic. And not prophetic in the dimension of forth telling where we see visions to tell things that will happen in the country. No, it's a dimension. The main dimension of the prophetic days we are, are where men will speak words inspired by the Holy Ghost. That's what the Bible says in that day, Joel 2.28. I will pour out my spirit upon all flesh, and your young men and old, your sons and daughters shall prophesy. Just like Elijah and Ezekiel 34 10, spoke at 7 10 rather, spoke to the dry bone, and the Bible said, Life. You can make summons upon wings to bring life. One of my father in the faith said he went to a place. And in that place, as he was entering the city, he saw a vision. That vision, he saw a tree, wedding gowns, graduation gowns, cars, houses in them. And God said to him, this is the destiny of men in that place. So he told the man who invited him for a meeting. He said, please, I saw a vision now and this tree must come down. The man said, leave tree, preach the preacher I sent you. He said, no, the preaching is the bringing down the tree itself. Nice words does not change people. It is encounter. An encounter comes from an instruction. Just like we heard. The Bible says, the akin to the word of his command. You know computer, right? When you type the right command code, the program runs well. So you need to know the codes. And when you throw it into the system, it runs well. It's not how nice the words might look like. Sometimes people come with very terrible situations to me. And what God says, say, it doesn't even make sense. You know, I'm trying to organize big English for meaning sense, magnificence. And God said, just say this. And you see, the, the testimony comes. I will follow them. They will what? Prophesy. So, he came there and told the man, if I want to bring down this tree, who should I see? He said, you have to see the ballet. Yeah. When he went to the man's place, fortunately for him, the ballet has been stricken down with stroke. So he said, let's strike it again. I will pray for you right now. Stroke will disappear. He will give me permission to cut three. But let's say, leave three matter now. Let me stand up. And he said, he held the hand. Jesus! Stroke came up. God likes it when you want to brag on his behalf. That's what you guys don't know. I'll tell you what he taught me some few years. If this is my elder brother, all right, and he's at home, he's not very strong. He's here, here. Don't mind his height. He's not strong. He's an example. And this brother was pursuing me that he wants to. And immediately I reached home. I shouted, I don't enter the house. Come touch me. Nobody went my other brother at the house. Do you know by that statement I will impact him with his strength? Even if he's not powerful, he stands up to live to that expect. God likes it when you brag for him. That's why when I go for healing meetings, I don't feel anything. No. I tell him, I say to him, you will see me like this. I know he's in a bit to show forth himself. Psalm 67 verse 2. Send us around the world that the world might know thy saving health and the power. He's looking for people to send. Whilst there is an availability, there is a performance for it. Men who is high, we do it. We take the risk. So he went there. The man now said, But wait, till you want to bring down this tree. What do you want to use? 
The last time we organized people in this village to go and bring this um, 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 sawmill um, cutter to cut down the tree, it was crying and bringing out blood. The tree could not go down. You did not carry anything, no knife, nothing. He said, don't worry. He said, he told the man, he said, just give me permission. When he went there, he said, I know the power of words. He told the prayer warriors, they sang around the tree and he raised his voice. Oh God! Men have tried to bring down this tree, they cannot. I knock on the door of thunder. Instant blast. Spoken words. Men who will dare to speak on behalf of the divine. Men who will look at the city and cause a plague to cease and go still see the plague there. Hear my word. They will live still see the plague there. Jesus caused the fig tree. The tree did not die instantly. The next day, they pass in the disciples say, See that tree you caused yesterday. It has now dried up. And we together, the power, they will walk the side. Now, you see, it takes understanding of you knowing what you now contain the Holy Ghost in the inside of you. So therefore your words are no longer what the words of mortal men. I don't hear certain things I say. I say them. People come and say this is how it will be. And they come after days and say so it has happened that way. I didn't hear it in. The prophet of our days is not just those that are here to speak. They are those that speak on his behalf. And we together you will say it in. And it shall be what? Established. So all your assignment is to what? Say it in. It's like God holding a stand. Waiting for you to what? To speak. For him to do this sanction. Prophesy. That's the last assignment I give you tonight. I take the pen to one. The explanation. It doesn't end in the meeting tonight. Then tomorrow you check your account balance. is zero naira. And you smile. Say, hey, I am broke. I have seen many times zero zero. I can never wear my experiences. Instead, you will see me wearing my expectations. Because wearing my experiences only makes them more intense on my life. I only attract. I can't wear it. Now, should I advise you? The days we are, pity yourself. Stop looking for self pity. Say, if I tell him now, I've not eaten for three months, I've not eaten for this one, I've not Say, yeah, there's one time I preach. The days we are, you think by the time you explain the information so emotionally, then people assist you. You are, you are, you are cheating yourself and deceiving yourself, not in the current days we are. You don't need to look for self pity. You can arrange back destiny by your words. One of our following the faith said to me, he said, One time, a young man where he was living, there was a brutal opposite it. And it was affecting his spiritual work. So he called this my father. He said, That there's a hotel and it's affecting me. Should I pack? Are you crazy? You are a hotel. Who should pack? No, there are questions you ask. It doesn't even make sense. Who are a hotel? It's just that you saw another list. You say, The one you are doing, you come to just say, I am a friend of God. You are joking twice. He said, he said to him, pack, close it. He said, he said, how? He said, you don't get out. Just every day, he said, I close you. That's what he got. Jokingly, you just wake up, look at you, just say, I close you down. You will run down. In less than seven days, the hotel has closed. I am telling you the things I had that sparked off faith in me, and I applied the same. It happened. One time I was in a meeting, preaching. Some young men, Yoruba boys, possibly from Ofa, said, the, you know what they want to do? Church dedication of the church first tool. Sure. They will bring like 50 speakers. And they were disrupting me. I stood and and said, in the name of Jesus, let those speakers break. Pa, pa, pa. Everywhere. That's what I heard. I learned it. And you can speak. And they will hear you. The Bible says, be careful what you say. So the bed of the earth will know you. There are things that hear what you say. Speak. I'm taking the place to open it up for you so you know it is not a mental assertion. It's not teaching you positive thinking. It's teaching you scriptures. You begin to arrange destiny with your words. I remember a young girl in my local assembly. This young girl, when, we, when they were very small, she was thinking, ah, me now, brother, go, go. Me now, brother, go, go. That's how she finished her primary school. Bing, a door, no, no good. I was not telling my son. I said, do you know this girl was saying this thing? Like joke. That this is how it will happen for her. Not knowing the words we are arranging the thing to come true. Whatever you are saying, 
it's what you've been speaking. In the next few minutes, begin to arrange your life. Now, this is what you say, Lord, bring my speech under your discipline and control from today. Bring my speech, my words, under your discipline and control from today. Raise your voice and In Jesus' name. I hear God said to me. He said, lead them to pull down words that have been spoken ahead of them. The Bible says, it brought a thief called Brass, right? And said, should we release this man to you? Or you still want this one, the king of the Jews? He said, bring for the criminals. And I told them, are you very sure? They said, we look like we are joking. Crucify him. And they make a blood statement. Let this blood be on our heads and on our children. In one day, they killed six million Jews. You know about the Holocaust? In one day. Words don't expire. I'm a student of history. Words don't expire. They can stay to the atmosphere for decades. After the of Jericho, Joshua, because of the excitement, he made a statement. He said, Oh God, if any man will raise this city, let him raise the foundation of this gate on a first son and complete it on his last son. After 400 years, a king came and raised immediately he started the foundation of his first son. 400 years, the world immediately completed it, his last son died. Words are powerful. Words are powerful. And you know about it? No nation fall victim of like um, Africa. When a mother wants to correct a child, especially if you are from the western part of this country, your name is like uh, um, um, uh, what is this? Um, Oku. Your name is like uh, Walamide. Your name is like um, maybe uh, Ayo. Ayo Mide. Those kind of names. You know the region you are from. And you know when they want to correct it, they say, oh no, no, Puruku or De. That's the place Should I tell you how they choose to correct their children? I, I can't speak the language, but let me use that in English. You will make it. You don't know intelligent boy like you. Why you? Why you remember? Okay. Ah, Olori Buku, Oresh and go. And in their mind, the boys, average, started behaving or starts behaving like Olori Buku. You know the advantage you have right now is that you can predict the destiny of your children. See, the Bible says, and the Holy Ghost, when Jesus came to the mother to meet Elizabeth, right? The Bible says the child lived in the womb and spoke by the Holy Ghost. So it means a child can be filled with the Holy Ghost from birth. You know this thing and you are pregnant, you cannot depict how your child will look like. You look at the stomach. And you arrange what that child. I give birth to a child that can't be intelligent. Never. I arrange your brain. Us must wake up. We are one of the victims of our own handwork. We must wake up. We speak more of negative words in Africa. 90% of the words you speak in a day are negative to positive. I'm telling you that is in church. That's Africa. That's the way we are trained. Even by a joke. You see two friends talking. That's what he calls the friend. You give him the first line. Dodo means you don't know anything. Please pray this prayer once more. Then I profess our vows as we go. Lord, listen. Listen. I have seen mothers 
who had scattered the life of their female daughters by the words they had spoken. Scattered. Out of anger and annoyance. Anytime we want to come back to school, my um, earthly dad always do that to us. All of us will need that. He said, whatever he has said that is negative, that I have to was to move people that is They know the power of words. See, the greatest gift and impactation you will receive on the earth realm is transmitted through what? Word. That's why even after Isaac pronounced words on Jacob, Esau saw all the houses, all the cars, all the animals. He said, Father, just say one thing. Jacob left only with the shirt he was wearing. That's why he could not even have an extra to below. He had to lay on the stone. Everything was intact. Yet Esau was crying. Father, please, just talk. Talk. Say one thing over my head. That's the power of words. Lord, whatever words have been used to arrange my life negatively, that you are behaving in a kind of way you cannot understand. So you know how your parent talks. Just little things say your children will suffer you. Some of them are not knowledgeable to this extent. Lord, I push them away from my life. I nullify their effect with the blood of Jesus. Raise your voice and pray tonight. Lord, that tonight destinies be set free. Generational causes be broken. Negative pronouncement be broken. Rapa ba 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 ya te de de ke de ye ke de re ba 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 la kwa kwa de de to la do ate ke ta e ro sa ta ka zko be ya kwa de ito ko lo bo ra ba ba le ko be de ke tu di a bro no sa i da ra ta sa ta sa ta sa ta re ke ke te i ka di ki di Just breathe your name upon me, breathe. Just breathe your name upon me. vision, people chained down and God said to me they are tied bound by words declare seven days of freedom for the people now I'm giving us an assignment because we can't stay out during the night, throughout this week, suspend any prayer point for this week no matter what you are looking at I am giving you a solution and answer now you see I didn't have a sum I didn't hold anything to preach I never wanted to preach in the service I just spoke by the inspiration of the Holy Ghost are we together? Please, any moment you have, God said to me, people are tied down by words. That's why no matter what they do, things don't work. The hardship and difficulties is much, even over families. What? Just pick, take the sprayer and continue through the next seven days. You'll be shocked the kind of testimonies you'll record there. 
Lord, pronouncement that have been laid over my family. What was spoken? What was spoken? That's why the Bible says he came to counsel the ordinances. What they have said. I remember when I was struggling. Struggling academically. And I met one of our father in the faith. I know many of you don't know him. He's in Ghana. That's around 2004. Struck the academic earth. And he said to me, son, I see so, so, and so happened. Your mother had an issue with one of her cousins. And she took your mom's picture to the shrine and said, We are best on the users. Yes. And he did travel and was waiting for me to be born. Did you remember that when KM, Noah was laying course on what man did by seeing his nakedness and announcing it? He called a name that was not existing. He said, Cost the Canaan, even though he was not born at that point. Cost the Canaan. The power of words, they don't expire in the atmosphere. Please, as you go back, you are walking on the street, don't whatever negative word that is hanging over my life, that is following me, following my family. I nullify with your prayer. You will begin to see things change. See, prayer is not until you pray so much, but striking the nail on the head. That's my strength to help people. The prophetic. They come to the other and say, this is the problem. I say, wait. And God said, this is it. So I know what I am saying. I'm not just praying generally. It's my advantage. I will follow it. Please, for the next seven days, begin to do this. Whatever was spoken, I see it holding people bound and in cage. Some of you know it's a trend in your family. You see a particular pattern. Spoken words. Pronouncement means. But I stand as a servant of the Most High God tonight and pray. Any generational cause, any word spoken against your life intentionally or carelessly, any demonic pronouncement made upon you, the one you know or the one you don't know, I decree them nullified with the blood of Jesus now. I decree them nullified with the blood of Jesus now. I pray for you. Whatever word negatively is traveling with you, that is following you as a demonic bodyguard, I decree it is nullified with the blood of Jesus now. Every evil pronouncement, whether you don't even know, Somebody said somewhere in a shrine, in a coven, in a witchcraft meeting against your life, against your family. I nullify to the blood of Jesus now. And I command your ways to open. I command the ways of your family to open. Let your glorious destiny break forth. Let the destiny of your family break forth. Let every shame end. Let every hardship cease. Let every evil occurrence come to an end. In the name of Jesus. Lift up your hands and worship Him. Thank you. The Lord bless and keep you. The Lord cause His face to shine upon you. And be gracious to you. The Lord lift up the light of His countenance upon you. The Lord grant you His peace. May you enjoy His mercy and favor every day of your life. I stand as a priest of the Most High God. Whatever the devil has arranged for you, arranged for your family, I scatter them by fire. Every arranged sickness, arranged accident, arranged death, arranged loss, arranged hardship, I scatter by fire now. I scatter by fire now. I scatter by fire now. In the name of Jesus. Thank you, our Father. May your hands not know lack. Even with the economic situation in the world right now, I prophesy you will not participate. May your supplies come from above. May all your needs be met by time. May all your needs be met by time. No one connected to this grace is permitted to suffer lack. You are not permitted to be broke. You are not permitted to be stranded. I prophesy, if need be, 
May money begin to appear where you did not keep them. May money begin to appear where you did not keep them. In the name of Jesus. Mark my words. I pray from this moment to the end of the year. It doesn't matter how money finishes in your account. I stand as a prophet of God to prophesy over your life. You will not beg for what you eat. You will not beg for what you eat. I decree men, God will put men under divine pressure and compulsion to favor you. In the name of Jesus. Thank you, our Father, for tonight.